Today on Wild Florida, we're talking about Growing Food is Easy Challenge. Hi everyone, it's Jacqueline, the Wild Floridian, and today we're talking about Growing Food is Easy Challenge. The reason we're talking about it is because the video, Growing Food is Easy, did so well. And so I wanted to make sure me and maybe you too could keep up the momentum, keep up the inspiration and the motivation and not let that perspiration get us down. I wanted to see if we could do a weekly check-in. Um, what I was thinking is, is every Tuesday we would do a check-in video, see how we're doing against our goals. So for me, it'll be, can I hit 250 pounds of food this year? And we'll share the good, the bad, ugly. In addition to sharing my goals and how I'm doing against them, I want to share what's going on with you guys too. I want to sprinkle in your ideas, your triumphs. Did you hit your first pound? Did you garden your first vegetable before? Your first fruit? Did you try something new? Did you learn something from someone else? Do you want to just share? That's what I want to do in this video and all the future ones. So of course, I'm going to ask you guys to comment below. We can do this. I think we could do this. We definitely can do this. We can go local. We can go so local from our front yard, our backyard, our side yards, any pot in your yard, anywhere. And we'll just change the world one piece of food at a time. So let's get started. Week one. So here's my week one check-in. So it was actually really awesome because I was able to get a whole bunch of fruit on January 1st. All my oranges came in right in the nick of time to start me off, get me pumped, get me motivated. And I got 10 pounds, 12 ounces of oranges just on day one. So that was really exciting. Yay, happy dance. Uh, I also got an ounce of mulberries. You know, I love my everbearing mulberry. It's constantly giving me fruit and I really don't put any effort into it. Okay, I had to wear it today. I mean, I got 10 pounds of oranges, so I had to wear, greetings from Florida, it's Orange Bird. <laughs> Let's dive into some of the feedback I got from you guys. So from Heather Martin, she suggested two different plants, a cranberry hibiscus, which I've never had before. I've seen them. And if they're anything like Turk's cap, they would be really sweet, but maybe they're not. I don't know. I'm gonna have to go find out where I can get some because I definitely want to plant that this plant this this year. She also recommended Jamaican sorrel. Now I've heard of wood sorrel and I've eaten that before, but I've never heard of Jamaican sorrel. So that one I'm definitely going to have to do some research on before I go and plant in my yard because I'm really not sure what it tastes like or what I'm going to use it for. The next person who gave some great feedback is Moss Redrum or Moss Redrum or Mass Redrum. Oh, now I get it. Okay. So they suggested a few different things. Actually, they suggested a lot of different things. One of the things they suggested was turmeric. And I'm really excited to try this because I've been thinking about it and they got me motivated. So I'm definitely going to look into doing some turmeric. They talked about, let's see, he or she, not really sure, is says they make tea with it with just a little bit of pepper in it. So that sounds interesting, right? And they also suggest that we eat those sweet potato leaves. <laughs> I know I wasn't very interested the first time, but okay, I'll try it. I'll definitely try it. So I'll be looking for some recipes and if you guys suggest suggestions on sweet potato leaf recipes, not sweet potatoes, but from the leaves. I would really appreciate that you put that in the comments below. Okay, well that's it. Are you in? Are you thinking you're gonna do it? Okay, so if you wanna be part of the Growing Food is Easy Challenge, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell so you get notifications when we put out the weekly video. And keep checking in each Tuesday and get yourself going. Go plant something or go harvest something. Just do something. And go ahead and put comments below. Uh, I'll be I will check them and I'll be making notes in my little handy dandy notebook each week. And we'll keep giving ourselves updates. So for me, 10 pounds down, 240 to go. So like, subscribe, and check in. All right. See you guys next week. Bye.